Hey, how's it going? James Wise with Holton Wise here. Right now, we are heading out to Garfield Heights. I'm meeting one of my business partners, Nick Varner. For those of you who aren't aware, Nick Varner was a longtime investor. He was an agent for Holton Wise for a couple years. He actually turned his license in and he went and started a title company called Black Tie Title. I was fortunate enough to invest in that business. That's what's so great about real estate investing. There are so many streams of income that you can have in this business. That's why it works so well for those of you who are out there working your day jobs. You can develop outside income sources with real estate so you can eventually one day stop relying solely on your day job. Anyway, even though Nick is no longer an agent, you know he's an investor, he's got the investment bug, he loves this stuff. He was an investor before he became an agent, he's gonna stay an investor for the rest of his life. He picked up this five bedroom, one bathroom house from a distressed seller. He's gonna be renovating this thing from top to bottom and we're gonna be able to deliver that to you with a tenant in place, completely turnkey. Let's dive in. I'm actually really pumped that Nick bought this house. This is like an awesome neighborhood. I love this neighborhood for investors. It's actually right down the street from that apartment building right there. I actually sold that monster today of all days. So that was pretty cool. I've had that one on the market. It's a seven unit building. The day I actually put together the contract is the day Nick calls me and says we got a film at his latest renovation project. This neighbor is just a strong, high C, B class rental neighborhood. Holton Wise, all of our investors, we all do very, very well in this neighborhood. The tenant base is stable, they're solid. They tend to stay longer term, so long as you give them a great place to live. All right, so before I came out here, you actually emailed me this POS report. I want you guys all to take a look. These are all the violations that Nick had to assume when he bought this property. As I said, you know, it doesn't look that great right now. Like this driveway, this is one of the things that's on the list. Obviously this driveway looks like total hell right now. It's on your list. You've committed, you're gonna actually go ahead and clear off all 14 of these violations for the potential buyers. Yeah, absolutely. We wanna make it as simple as possible for the next buyer who comes in. Uh, my job is really, as I see it, is to eliminate the problems. Okay, cool, so simple resurfacing. They don't have to worry about anything. They're getting this, no issues, no point of sale violations. The roof doesn't look totally brand new, but it doesn't look bad. Did uh, When you bought this from the distressed seller, did he have any idea how old the roof was? I'm not exactly sure when the last roof was put on. It looks like it's still in pretty good condition. So we don't really know exactly how old the roof is, but I think it looks pretty good from down here. But you know, let's not take my word from down here. Let's utilize the tools we have. It's always my goal at Holton Wise to be the most transparent broker possible. I know you guys are buying this from California or New York, so I wanna be your eyes and ears down here. Let's go ahead and fly that drone up to the roof to know exactly what we're looking at. All right, man, the roof looked pretty good from the drone footage, so that's a nice positive. What does not look good is this backyard, dude. What the hell you got going on back here, man? Yeah, well, it's it's not just all about raking in the cash. You gotta do some hard work as well, James. And you know, look back here, the city is citing us for not mowing the grass. Although, as you mentioned, I bought the property about five hours ago. We gotta get rid of this basketball hoop. Uh, you see some, some of the vegetation back here uh, really needs to be cleaned up. Uh, there's uh, windows that really you know need to be repaired in terms of the screens being ripped. There's yeah, looking on your list here, I saw they date you for this stuff. You know, just little BS like this. It's all stuff you'll be taking care of, buttoning up for the buyers. Yep, absolutely. So we gotta make sure that this uh, property is ready for tenants to live in. and. It's ready for uh, buyers to take loans out on. This property is going to be available as a turnkey solution to one of you who wants to be totally passive. You're working your day job out there in California. You don't want to put in the time and the effort. 
But I know there's a lot of you watching this right now who want to do what Nick's doing. You want to be the guys that get in there and buy it from the distressed seller. So I like to go through things like that so they know. Because not everyone could just buy the Simple Turnkey Solution. A lot of guys want to do what me and you do. Because I mean, we, you know, we've made a decent amount of money doing this. We don't have a boss crawling down our necks. Let's go inside, man. It's hot as hell. Absolutely. All right, man, this thing has got the, uh, the vacant house smell. Outside of making this thing smell a little bit better, uh, what's the game plan, man? Right, so, you know, if you take a look around, this kitchen needs a little bit of help. We got an uh, outdated flooring solution. If you look right here, you got this really plastic tile that's sticking to the floors that has seen better days. Yeah, so. it's just dated, it's ugly. You're not gonna get long-term tenants with stuff like this. Are you guys just doing like a vinyl lure? Or? Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna put a vinyl lure floor in place. Um, if you see the stove receptacle there, that's gonna be on the list as well. We'll place that 220 volt, 220 volt uh, stove uh, receptacle. That's cool that you pointed that out. One thing I really like investors to do when we're looking at these houses when you're renovating and turning over units in these rental houses, you want to eliminate or reduce as much risk as humanly possible. So things like stoves, I prefer them to be electric because you don't want to have a gas stove. You don't want the opportunity for a small gas leak to cause a major fire when there's a spark such as, you know, cigarettes, cigar, marijuana, that type of stuff. So going with electric, small risk, but whenever there's any risk, you want to mitigate that risk as much as humanly possible. So I love that you're buttoning that up, sticking with electric. That's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, dude, this thing is, is spacious. Uh, what's going to happen here? And this floor is obviously to see better days. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the floor in the kitchen is going to be the Allure vinyl floor, which is very resistant, very modern. People, the tenants really like that. Um, and then in here, the these are pretty good quality wood floors. I mean, original hardwood floors from 1920s. So if you look at, at these, these really just need a good refinishing and polyurethane stain. I'm painting the whole property in a greasel gray. Number one color in the country. Then moving upstairs, uh, we're going to be recarpeting all of uh, the bedroom floors in the upstairs space and then also redoing the bathroom floor as well. I like that, man. That's a good plan. You know, the hardwoods are beautiful. Tenants love the hardwoods. It feels very open in here, so you give them beautiful hardwoods. Love the cosmetic fireplace. Obviously, it's going to come to the tenants as a cosmetic only fireplace, just like I talked about in the kitchen. You don't want to have a working fireplace in a rental property. Gas equals gas leaks equal risk. More risk for you equals a lower return. So that's why we button these properties up, harden them up. I think the idea to go carpet uh, upstairs, man, that's pretty cool. Do you find with your tenants that they prefer carpet upstairs? I've always found that they like the hardwoods on the main floor, but they like the carpet upstairs. Yeah, it eliminates a lot of the noise. And then just for a comfort factor, when you're getting up in the morning, you know, like, do you want to hit the uh, cold hardwood floor in your bedroom or do you like a rug below you? And, you know, a lot of the tenants do like carpet in the bedrooms. That's what's cool about an experienced investor such as yourself. You're renovating the property, but you're looking at two things. You're looking at... How do I harden this for the best possible return? But at the same time, to get that best possible return, you need to renovate it in a way that's gonna to appeal to your tenant base, which is gonna decrease your turnover, which as we all know, turnover is the biggest return killer. Absolutely, yep. So let's go upstairs. They do not make pillars like this anymore. Look at this woodwork. You cannot get woodwork like that in brand new construction. That's what you get when you buy one of these century homes here in Cleveland. This is classic. So right here, James, as you're looking to the to your uh, back here, we have some rip screens. Those are violations, and also a window that's not going up and down. So that's all going to be repaired as well. Okay, cool. Um, so coming into the bathroom, what we're going to be doing here is redoing the floor with the sim with the exact same alert floor for the kitchen that tenants really really like and is low maintenance. We're going to be replacing 
the toilet here with a low flow, uh, energy efficient toilet that's really good on water bills. Um, then finally, we're gonna be replacing this vanity here, painting everything so that it looks good, and then refinishing this whole uh, tub surround. So at the end of this renovation, you'll have what it amounts to a brand new feel in this bathroom. Thing is guys, when you're investing in real estate, I see it all the time, I see investors, you guys are looking to save money, and I get that, man. I invest in real estate because I love money. Nobody loves, well, outside of maybe Nick here, nobody loves money more than I do. Um, but, like, look at this. Tommy, come grab this. You can't cheat out on things that are just going to screw you. I see investors who maybe just want to try to leave this and think the tenants won't care. I mean, that's gross, guys. Who wants to take a bath or a shower when you see that stuff? So... It's just fundamentals of real estate. Things that sell houses are kitchens and baths, okay? If it sells a house, it's gonna rent a house, guys. So, you know, that's great. Nick's going in here. He's been in the game for years. He knows what he's doing. That's why problems like this, he's taking care of them. But for all you landlords out there that think you can save five or 600 bucks by letting this bathroom just sit exactly how it is, that's not the right move. You're only hurting yourself down the road because as we know, turnover is a return killer. After the renovating the bathroom, we're gonna be carrying the new carpet into all three bedrooms on the second floor. We're gonna be replacing plate covers that are gross like that. And we're going to be scraping and painting any loose uh, paint in on the second floor and then carrying the carpet up to the third floor. One of the things that really attracted me to this property, James, was this third floor, which is additional space that, you know, most rental properties, you're just not gonna find a third floor. Really good space. A person could choose to use this as a master suite in a fourth bedroom, or potentially, you know, use it as two bedrooms up here and, and two, two, two different sleeping spaces. Yeah, that's really gonna set you apart. I mean, most of the time at Garfield, you know, what we run into is, we run out two bedroom duplexes and then we are just, you know, pounding out three bedroom, one bath houses, a lot of them are bungalows. But yeah, what you have here, you got a five bedroom space. It's either five bedrooms or, you know, four of the luxurious master suite. So hitting that 1050, honestly, that 1050 estimate that you've uh, anticipated when you bought this thing, that might even be conservative, really. Because, yeah. uh, I mean, this extra space, you know, that's just something that not a lot of the other properties have. It's always good to set yourself apart, develop some type of competitive advantage. So you obviously have some work to do up here, but when you're done with it, it's gonna make this an awesome passive investment. The thing I love about this property is that you've priced it at $60,000. So investors can look at 1050 in rent and then the cost of 60,000, but you've literally done everything to it. So guys, Real estate investing is so good, it's so powerful, because A, it's passive, okay? It's an additional revenue source. You can build up this revenue stream while continuing your other revenue stream, which is your job. But the other reason that real estate investing is so powerful, so many people become multimillionaires in this space, is the ability to leverage. And when you get a totally turnkey property like this, yeah, it's rough, it's tough. If you look at my head, I'm sweating right now. It's hot in here, this property is dirty, it's gross. But hey, guess what? That's Nick's problem. That's not your problem, and that's not my problem. Nick is handling all of that, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna get this property, and you're gonna get it at 60,000, and you're not gonna have to spend a dime doing anything. So that means you're stretching your funds as far as possible. $15,000, guys. $15,000, that's it. It's all you're paying out of pocket because you have no upfront repairs. You're gonna get a 30 year fixed rate tax deductible loan. That is stretching out your money. That tenant's gonna pay that mortgage for you. Cash flow appreciation, that's icing on top of the cake. At the very least, you are quadrupling your money. And this guy right here, he did all the hard work. You know, we're sitting here sweating. By the time he delivers this to us, to Holton Wise, He's gonna have this thing totally renovated. We're gonna have a tenant signed up, deposit paid before you close. If you would like to buy this property, I want you to click the link above or below. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices 
and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching the video. I'm James Wise, co-founder of Holton Wise, if you are interested in hearing more about me and my personal story, how I turned one investment property into a management portfolio valued over $50 million, I want you to go ahead and follow my personal Instagram, at jameswisehwpg. I want you to go ahead and click the subscribe button for more real estate deals and educational content, as well as check out some of the other videos we have throughout this channel. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise. And this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy.